All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking a little bit about down sleeping bag maintenance, storage, why you got to keep it in one of these when you're not using it, and how on earth you get it into one of these when you want to take it out on a trip. Stick with us and we'll go through the whole thing. So if you're looking into a higher end down sleeping bag, there's a few things that you should know about owning one. One of the first things is how to store it properly. Most of the time, they will give you one of these large cotton bags. And the idea behind this is it allows you to put the entire sleeping bag inside of it without compressing it so that it doesn't lose its loft. And that loft is what gives it its fluffiness that keeps you warm. So you wanna make sure any time that you are not using the bag, you keep it in this storage sack. If it doesn't come with one of these, you can also just get a large bag or leave it outside of the compression sack. That way, the down is not compressed all the time and causing damage to the actual bag itself. All right, so let's say that you just pulled it out of your storage sack and you wanna go on a trip. How is it that you fit this entire sleeping bag into this tiny little bag? The first thing that I want to talk about is that most people think that you have to roll up the sleeping bag like you would one of your childhood ones. And with down, that's really not the best way to do it. It can damage the down, and it also makes it much more difficult to actually fit it into the bag and be able to pack other gear around it. Instead, they call this a stuff sack because you literally stuff the sleeping bag into the bag. And what we're going to do right now is actually show you how you do that successfully and also in a way that's not going to damage the sleeping bag itself. The first step is you're going to want to grab the foot of the sleeping bag. That way, as you're compressing it into the bag, all of the air has a way to escape through the hood. So take a handful and you're just going to take it and push it into the bottom of the stuff sack. Once you have it started, you'll just be able to grab another handful and stuff it into the bag, working your way around the perimeter. I like to rotate the bag as I go, just to help make sure that I'm getting all of the different parts of the bag filled. You don't have to be really scientific about it. Just feel around, and if there's a spot that has less material, put the bag there. Keep working your way in a circle. And you can see I'm not putting very much effort into this. It shouldn't take a lot of force. Down is supposed to compress very easily. If you're forcing it more than it needs to, it can damage it. Okay, so now we have it in the bag and we can see it's pretty even all the way around it. If needed, you can kind of make some adjustments and then take that last little bit and the dust flap, put it over the top, cinch down the cord, and then I don't like having long cords, so I do a small slip knot and pull out all the slack. And that is how you put a down sleeping bag into a stuff sack without damaging it. Now, when you put this into your backpack, you can compress it more, but it's not necessary at this stage. All right, so now that we've taken a look at how to store the bag, how to get the bag packed up, let's talk a little bit about cleaning it. I'd love to say that camping is this whole clean process where your sleeping bag's never gonna get dirty and everything will be fine, but we all know that that's not the case. The one drawback with down is that you should not put it in a washing machine, especially one that has an agitator, because it can damage the bag itself, 
And so really your options are limited. There are certain places where you can take your down sleeping bag and they will clean it for you professionally, or you can do a spot clean, just hand wash it and then hang it to dry. Another thing that some people will do is if the sleeping bag seems to be getting more flat than it used to, they take a few tennis balls and put it in the dryer on a delicate setting and just allow it to run in there for a few minutes to really get all of that down loosened up and restore its loft. Outside of that, there's not much else that you need to know about a down sleeping bag. All right, thanks for taking the time to watch this video on how to take care of your down sleeping bag. If you have any questions, please leave comments down at the bottom. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. And just thanks for your support. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my videos. Doing lots of adventures here soon. I don't want you to miss any of the action. Thanks again.